To ensure that texture blending works as expected, objects typically need to be UV unwrapped. So make sure that's set up before setting up the materials. In shading workspace, we want to make sure the object has a basic material assigned so that it gives us a principled BSDF material output. If image texture nodes are already connected, we can use these to create our blended material. So first, what we need to do is add our color images that are going to be blended. So we drop in our image texture node, add our image texture. We've got one already assigned, but we'll go through the process anyway. Browse to the image that we want, select, open, and that adds the image. And then what we want to do is add a second image. So add texture, image texture, drop that into place. We want to add our second image that we're going to blend to this. So open, select our image, open image. Now to these two, what we need to add is a mix node. So from the add menu, we want color mix RGB. So drop one of those in and this needs to be placed between the image texture nodes and principled BSDF. So just drop that into place and it'll automatically link everything up if the image texture was already linked. So that's got our first one linked. So what we want to do is link up the second one. So click color, drag the output to the color two input of our mix node. And what we'll get is this. So what the mix node is doing is blending the two together based on our FAC input. At the moment, it's 0.5. It's mixing the two images. So if we set this at zero, it gives us color input one and color input two at 1.000. So if we want to control this with a mix mask, a blend map, what we need to do is add a third image texture node, add texture, image texture. So again, drop that into place. And to this, we can add a mask. So open, select the mask. And this input needs to be connected to FAC. So color out to FAC input. Click drag and connect. And that mixes or blends the two images together based on the mask image. Move this specular out of the way. Image one, image two, image three, which is the mask. And that's it, a simple material with mask-based texture blending. If we need to customize the mask, and this is why the object needs to be UV mapped, switch to texture paint, make sure the mask image is selected. And then using the tools, we just paint. So we're using black and white. And that will automatically update the blending between the two images, creating a material with blended textures using a custom mask.